Hi guys, Gina here. So I've had a lot of requests about um, people wanting to see a little more in depth of my A to Z tabs. A video that focuses just on the A to Z tabs or the filing cabinet as some of you call it. I am absolutely in love with my A to Z tabs. I use them every single day. I put all kinds of stuff in there. Um, I honestly don't know how I lived without them. It's, it's keeps my brain organized. It cuts down on my sections in my planner. I just absolutely love it. So I'm going to do a video just showing my A to Z tabs. Now I did not actually come up with this idea. I think it's ingenious. But I actually got the idea from Jordan Powers and I'll link her video down below. She introduced it to me in a video, um, she just briefly talked about it, and I thought it was great. And so I happened to have several sets of the A to Z tabs laying around that I had gotten in different filofaxes, so I just put those into play in my planner, and I've loved it ever since. It's very, it's a very big section, it's pretty thick. You can see, I, what I did is I took the A to Z tabs out of my regular planner that I use daily and just put them in a spare one that I had so I didn't have all the bulk and everything else to go through since I'm just showing you my A to Z tabs. So this is not the planner I use on a daily basis. This is a purple molden. I use an aqua molden every day. So I just put them in here just for easier video, video, videoing. Sorry about that. But you can see with just this being my A to Z tabs, it is pretty thick. But like I said, I put all kinds of stuff in here. So let's get started. So like I said, this is just my A to Z tabs. Kind of use it like a filing cabinet. Anything that I want to remember, keep. Um, pretty. I mean, like I said, I put a lot of stuff in here. And I just put it under the letter that for me, it comes to first. And you'll kind of see what I mean as we go through it, but I don't try to overthink it. Whatever I think of first, when I think of that information or that item, that's where I put it. Because that's where I'm going to go to look to find it later. And if I don't know where I put it, it's pretty much useless. So I really don't overthink it. I just stick it where my brain tells me it should go. And I really have not had a problem with it at all. Some people have an index at the beginning to tell them where stuff is. For me and the way my brain works, that just that just wouldn't work for me because, like I said, wherever I think of it, if it's about my contacts, it goes under C for contacts. I mean, there's not really a question. I don't need an index to tell me to tell me where it's at. Some people do. Some people use it a little bit differently. But I'm just showing you how I use mine. So we've got the A B tab. And under that, I've got a blood pressure tracker. I do have a couple health issues, so that's something I need to keep track of. And this is actually a printable that I created and is for sale in my Etsy store. A lot of these printables in here you're going to see are blank. And that's because they do keep some sensitive information on them. So I just put blank ones in here to show you what I keep. This isn't actually the one that I've written my blood pressure on. So this is a blood pressure tracker. Just so you can track the date you take it, took it, your blood pressure, and your pulse. And I got a couple of those in here. The next thing is a monthly budget. This is where I put my bills for the month. It has a spot for your budgeted, your item, your actual bill, how much you budget for it, the actual cost, the difference, and any comments. And then totals at the bottom. This actually came from the Polka Dot Posey. This is not one of my printables. I do love her stuff. It's gorgeous. So colorful and pretty. So I keep track of my monthly bills on here. Got a couple of those sheets there. That is a sheet that just had some personal information on it. I keep, just currently I only am keeping one address page in here because I don't keep, I don't keep um, all of my addresses like that I send Christmas cards or family members, that kind of stuff. I don't keep in here. I pretty much keep addresses that I would need while I'm out. These are a couple of doctors 
and their addresses and their phone numbers so if I need to call them or we're headed to a doctor's appointment I know where I'm going. These like this one per, for example is a dermatologist we don't see them very often so I don't always remember exactly where their office is they're actually also a new doctor for us so it's not one that I've been to a hundred times and no the one up here that I'm covering is actually for a friend of mine that lives out of state I do mail stuff to her a lot but don't have her address memorized so that address I do keep in here because I need it when I'm out and about like I said my mom's address my in-laws I don't need those when I'm out and about and I have them memorized but I do have an address book at home that I keep all that in so another thing here is alarm information for my church I've got a key to the church so I need my alarm information and again for me a for alarm it goes that's where it goes if I need to know something about the alarm I'm gonna go look in a so that's where I put it I've got a sheet another one from the polka dot posy books to read this is just a piece of paper that I wrote on, but this is books to find. I homeschool and I constantly got a list of books that I need to look for at used bookstores, secondhand stores, things like that that go with some of our curriculum. And then I've just got some blank sheets of paper back here that I tore out of the list pads that you get at the Target dollar store, Michael's dollar store, or dollar section wherever I just tore them out, punched holes in them, put them in here they're great to write notes on, lists on anything you want to keep in your A to Z's, they make it colorful and pretty so I like them my C and D tab I've got doctor's visits, I like to keep track of what happens at the doctor's visits, why we went what they said about why we went, you know if my daughter fell and sprained her wrist I want to know information, what the doctor says, the medications he says to give her, anything like that. This is another one that I have created and again is in my Etsy store for sale. Got a couple of those in here. This is my Christmas budget. I budget for Christmas at the very beginning of the year right after the follow or the previous Christmas and how I budget for that is just quickly because I've had some people ask about that too I just write down everything that I need every person I need to buy for for Christmas and their budget and I also include baking because we do a lot of baking I include uh, gifts to charity I go out of town every Thanksgiving weekend with a friend of mine to go Black Friday shopping so I include my hotel costs gas costs all of that I include in there I total that up and then I just count on a calendar how many paychecks we're gonna have between January 1st and Thanksgiving because I want all my money there at Thanksgiving when I go out of town I have a separate bank account just for Christmas so when I divide that up and see how much I need to put in every paycheck I put that into my Christmas fund I've got a debit card for that account and throughout the year if I see something I want to purchase for a Christmas present I've got the money there use my debit card purchase it also when I go out of town I don't have to carry a lot of cash I just carry my debit card and I can make all my Christmas purchases the money doesn't have to come out of our regular you know budget it's just like a savings account all year long it has saved us so many years that money was short and we might not have had the Christmas we had had it not been for doing that all year round so I love that idea the next thing is I do have information on my contacts comparing a couple different places to purchase my contacts for I've got the name of my contacts and then I've got this specific solution that my doctor wants me to use I kept forgetting the name of it and I bought the wrong thing a couple of times so I just cut the front of the box out and glued it in here and that works really well this is just a list of the Coletto refills that I've got the Coletto pin colors so I can keep track of them just again something that I want to keep track of a couple more list sheets E and F I've got a food tracker in here because of a couple of my health issues I need to keep track of the foods I eat. I have to be on a low sodium diet, so I really do need to keep track of the foods I'm eating and the water intake. This is another printable from the Polka Dot Posy. So I've got those in there. Got some more blank sheets. G and F. I've got a health journal. 
just to jot down anything that I need to. Um, like I said, I'm on a low sodium diet, so sometimes I need to jot down a food idea that I might have or find at the grocery store that's low sodium that would be a good snack item for me or dinner item, lunch item, whatever. Just health journal, anything to journal about my health. So I got a couple of those in there. Some more blank sheets. I and J. I've got some leads on a couple of jobs from a friend of mine, so I just put those under J for jobs. K and L. Not sure. Oh, these are the list of all of the Le Pen colors because I love Le Pens and I wanted to keep track of those and then check mark the ones that I have. This is some labels off of some specific items, some specific foods that I've come across that are low sodium and that are okay for me to eat. This is a pasta sauce and just canned pears. So again, once I get these down and remembered in my head, I probably won't keep them in here any longer. But for now, it's a new thing for me, so I did just take off the label, make sure I've got the nutritional information here, hole punch them, put them under L for labels because that's how my brain works. I didn't want to put spaghetti sauce under spaghetti sauce, pears under P. That's I wanted labels because when I'm at the store and I want to look at my labels, I need to go to L for labels. Again, you might have some a different way of doing it, and that's fine. This is just kind of a a rough idea to get you going. So M and N, I've got a medication tracker. Three out of four of us in our house do take regular medication, so I want to keep track of those and the dose, how often we take them, the pharmacy that they're at. Doctor who prescribed them. This is another insert that I've got for sale in my Etsy store. So if you, if that's something you're interested in, please visit my Etsy store. I do have some other stuff in there besides just the printables. Some more blank sheets. Movies to see. This is just some information on um, a bill, automatic bill payment that I set up. It's not about bills in general, so to me, my brain again, I did not want to put it under B. The name of the place is Midwest, so I put it under M, because if I want to find out information about Midwest and what day of the month it's coming out, what the payment amount is, whatever, Midwest, I'm going to go to M. My, my whole monthly bills are under B, because that's bills for the month. Again, my brain. Yours might be completely different. O and P. This is a prayer list that a uh, friend sent me some of these and I love this. A prayer needed and who and what for. So cute. And I love to pray for people that need prayers. This is a password tracker. Um, polka dot posy again. You can tell a lot of hers look pretty much the same but they're so cute and colorful. I love them. So this just keeps track of all your passwords for different um, different websites and things. I've got a sheet that I keep track of any orders I place online, the date I ordered them, confirmation number, total, who they were from, what they were for. This is information regarding some piano lessons and a play that my daughter's in. So again, under P. Some people might put them under, like my daughter's name starts with an E, so some people might put them under E. Again, it's however you want to do it, how you're going to remember best. For me, if I want to know something about piano, I'm going to look under P. That's how I work. This is just some notes and things that I've jotted down about planners. So that goes under P for me also. Q and R. We've got recipes to try. This is phone number and hours of a place that I go to to laminate and do die cuts and things. It's a resource center is what I call it. It's a teacher resource center. I've always called it resource center. So it goes under R. Some more note sheets. S and T. At church I am involved in the secret sister program. So this is information about my secret sister. Her likes and dislikes. So I just have that in here. This is just information about a friend of mine that we swap and mail back and forth so that's some of her likes and dislikes and things like that. 
Again, some other blank sheets. Things to make. I love Pinterest, so I'm always getting ideas of things I want to make or things I want to do off of Pinterest, so that's under T. This is something I created, and I just basically took a sheet of cardstock, put a little tab at the top, you can kind of see, it says stores, and so it sticks up, you can see that it sticks up further than the sheets of paper, and what I did is I put just a little bit, a few sheets, just, you know, like maybe five or six sheets of sticky notes, and I have four different colors two on front, two on back, and what I do with that is, like this one is Walmart. This is Walmart things. This is my grocery store, it's called Dylan's, but so that's my grocery store. Yes, I can buy some of the grocery items at Walmart, some items I want to only purchase at the grocery store or at Walmart. For example, I personally don't like Walmart's produce, so I will only buy my produce at the grocery store. So I just keep a running list so this is my grocery store Dillon's. I ran out of brown sugar. Wrote that on there. So the next time I'm at Dillon's, I look at this list and I know these are the items that I need. Ran out of or getting low on light bulbs. Those I get from Walmart. I don't buy those at the grocery store. They're too expensive. So here's my Walmart list. Sometimes I'll just tear it off and put it in the front of my planner so I can see it easily if I know I'm going to Walmart. Sometimes I don't always know I'm going to Walmart. So when I do go, I pull this list out and I go, oh yeah, we needed light bulbs and paper plates or whatever it is. On the back is just a couple other items, um, not specific stores, but just places that I do frequent, like maybe if I know I'm going to Target or there's something specific I need from Target, I'll start a Target list. U and V. These are some Bible verses that I want to work on. This is an auto pay for Verizon. Again, Verizon V, not B for bills for me. This is a vitamin that I just started my daughter on. It's not a usual vitamin. It's not a usual thing that I purchase. So, similar to my contacts, I just cut out the box and I glue that in here so I always know and get the same same thing every time. I don't have to think. No guesswork. It's just here. W and X. Wish lists. I have wish lists for all four of us in our family. There's always items that come up that I want to jot down. I, um, you know, my daughter will say, hey, I would really like to have that movie or that CD. So I just write it on here. So when birthdays come up, Christmas, um, you know, maybe I just want to get her a surprise while I'm out sometime or whatever. I've got a list of items that she wants. And I do that with my son, my husband, and myself. Because there's always things I see out that I want. And then my husband will say, hey, is there anything you're wanting? Your birthday's coming up or anniversary. And I can never think of it. So now I've got a wish list going. Y and Z. This printable said blog post ideas. I don't have a blog, but I do have a YouTube channel, and so I just used washi tape and I covered up the blog, and it just says post ideas. And this is things, a uh, place that I put ideas for my YouTube channel. So this is post ideas for YouTube, so I keep it under Y for YouTube, even though that's not what it says at the top, that's still where I would go to think, to write down YouTube ideas. So, and then just another blank sheet of paper. That is it. That's what I have in my my A to Z tabs. You can see that it grows very organically. It um, I don't necessarily think of things to put in there. Things come to me, just like the labels for those uh, foods that I want. You know, I knew that I wanted to keep track of those labels, and I'm like, oh yeah, of course, just put them in your A to Z tabs. You'll always know where they are. So I just really put anything that I need to keep track of and I want to carry with me in my planner. If I don't already have a section for it in my planner, it goes my A to Z tabs. And really it's cut my sections down and dividers that I have to keep in my planner to, let's see, I think I've got three dividers, three or four, compa compared to 
I used to have a bunch, but the A to Z tabs really cut down on that. So I hope that helped you guys. I hope that gives you guys some ideas of what to put in your A to Z tabs. I really do highly recommend putting those in your planner. It is a filing cabinet. It's you know no different than your stand-up big filing cabinet. You just put anything in it that you want to keep track of. So I hope that helped. I will link my Etsy store down below. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave it down below as well, and I will get get to answer them as quickly as I can. Thanks, and you guys have a great day.